Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at nullification and absorption abilities and how they work in DBZ Doka Metal. Now nullification abilities are broken down into two sections and absorption abilities are broken down into a singular section that are a lot rarer. Nullification abilities are either against unarmed super attacks or against armed or key based super attacks and armed super attacks are super attacks that are not key based and armed or key based super attacks are obviously key centric supers. Now there is currently no way in game to tell what kind of super attack a boss is going to do so you kind of have to judge it visually which is a little bit irritating but it's one of those things. Now nullification is pretty straightforward. What it will do is essentially it will reduce the damage received from the ability to zero. It will still count as a hit on your character, meaning it will still build up stacks if your character is one of those characters that builds up stacks, but it will not incur a counter or a dodge, and instead the damage will be reduced to zero. The absorption abilities are a little bit different. Absorption abilities essentially are ways to heal. So absorption abilities are very rare, Currently, I believe there's only two units in the game that currently absorb super attacks. And how absorption abilities work is they will not only nullify the super attack, but they will actively increase your health based on the damage that the super attack would have done. Which is pretty nuts. Uh, it's really powerful potent ability. It's one of the things that makes this Android 19 and 20 such a good and interesting unit. So absorption abilities are pretty rare. Now I will say nullification abilities are pretty good. The big difference between them and counters is that nullification abilities obviously don't need the counter instance to proc, but nullifications reduce the damage to zero, whereas counters will still incur damage. However, evasions will avoid the point of damage. However, nullification will still incur the attack. So it's just a little slight difference Nullifications are also usually percentage based to a certain point, there's no guaranteed nullifications and they only proc against super attacks, not normal attacks. Now here you can see, get a little bit of a taste essentially of some of the nullification and the absorption abilities. So here you can see Gamma 2 obviously doing a little bit of nullification, which is more than fine. Uh, nullifications are pretty handy. Uh, obviously they require you to have knowledge of the boss, which is a little bit hard to come by in game. I think what they could do is if they could give you a way to see what kind of super attack the boss is doing in terms of their damage, then I think that at least will allow you to prep and plan a little bit better, which I think overall would be pretty good. With that being said, uh, I do think that you know, they're still very useful abilities and they help out players a lot. I think they do tend to be very strong you know, defensive mechanisms. Again, you can see the nullification kick in here. Very, very good, allowing us to obviously prevent any damage and any negative side effects of the super attack. So no defense lowering, no attack lowering, etc., which is pretty good. The absorption abilities on the ones that are very, very powerful you can see here that we are going to not only disrupt the super attack but we're actively going to absorb it which at the end of the day is pretty good so you can see there we took a little bit of damage to the one came more than fine and then after this we're going to get super attacked and then essentially we're going to now absorb back the health that we lost which is pretty good you can see here nice absorption the attack does no damage and then we gain back health now how the health is calculated is based on the damage dealt. So for example, if an attack would have dealt 200k, we will absorb a percentage of that damage that would have been dealt. You can't absorb a percentage of the actual attacks that are the bosses, because all of them obviously do millions of damage, and this would then cause you to heal up a ridiculous amount. But it's very good. The big thing about absorption is at least right now it's based on the health threshold so you do actually have the ability to proc absorption quite consistently which i think is a very big turning point 
But that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. And I'll see you next time. Bye.